What's good, YouTube? Hope all is well. This is Fragrance1914 coming back to you with another video. Got the sampler pack from Parfums Vintage. This is, of course, Pineapple Vintage. On the left here, we've got Pineapple Vintage Intense. And, of course, Pineapple Vintage Noir. All right. So, um, with this uh, small short review, hopefully, ah, there they go already. These things will not stand up. Doing good so far. But uh, with this uh, small short review, I got the uh, sample pack. And sorry about the helicopter there. But you do what you gotta do. You deal with what you gotta deal with. All right. Um, so I tried um, all of these out. And this is actually gonna be part one. Uh, I've thought about this and gives it giving it some thought and I definitely want a lady's opinion So I have a friend um, When she's ready Which should be very soon. Uh, I'm gonna have her smell these and tell me what she thinks since uh, you know this uh, Brand has come out of nowhere and has basically set the world on fire uh, with the supposed Creed clone um, I will go uh, go ahead and say I don't think this is a Creed clone, just like many of, many others have said. This is in a class by itself. It's different. It's nice. I know there are some resemblances uh, to Creed Aventus, uh, but um, I'm not going to call it a clone. Uh, not because others aren't, but because I just don't think that it's a clone. It's just different. Uh, but to get into them shortly, um, I tried all three of them. I actually have all three of them on right now. And um, just taking another sniff of them. So, so we'll start with the pineapple vintage right here. Pineapple vintage, and this one. This one was unfortunately kind of a difficult thing because, as you can see, if you look right there, see how it's kind of bent right there. That's how it came. So it's kind of hard. It was very hard to spray this one at first because that one. Right there, it seems like the, the metal part is kind of dented, so I couldn't even press down on this. So I had to push it and wedge it inside to where it would fit, and now it comes out. I get one spray. <laughs> I get one spray, and then I'll stand up. I'll get you up later. So I'll get one spray, and then it kind of jams inside. It kind of jams down, and then I got to pull it back up <laughs> so uh, anyway but I still you know I'm able to get it out and um, definitely smell it this one fresh a fresh fruity pineapple the freshest fruity scent I've ever smelled like this is incredible in terms of just the pineapple just the pineapple this was incredible um, it fades away for me on my skin maybe it's just my skin but it fades away um, I don't want to say quickly, but fairly moderately. I don't know if that if that makes sense. Um, it's okay. Um, but really, all I get is the fruity pineapple. It's not sweet at all, in my opinion. Just enough sweetness, just barely enough sweetness to call it like a like like you're eating a fresh pineapple. Like literally, you know, if you could drink this stuff, it would taste just like a freshly squeezed pineapple. Um, that's how it smells. Uh, as far as the mid and the dry down, uh, I still get the pineapple all the way through. I mean, it's talking about on here that the top, note, top notes are pineapple and birch. I guess I get the birch a little bit. Um, pineapple, apple, bergamot, black currant, leaf, rose, and jasmine on the heart, on the mid. Um, I can see the pineapple. Really can't get the apple. I get the bergamot. I get a little bit of black currant. Um... But one of the things that I, you know, I don't hear that often, that for me that stands out when it comes to Creed Aventus is rose, and rose just makes that fragrance pop. It's it, it's like it's like having, you know, I don't know, a khaki pants and and a nice clean shirt, and then you got those black shoes, black dress shoes that just make your whole outfit pop. You know, that's what the rose does in Creed Aventus, uh, and and I don't smell that. I don't smell that, and I think that's what makes Creed. Um, so unique. I mean, you know, all the other notes are talked about quite a bit, but I don't think many people talk about the rose. And I don't really care for rose fragrances, 
but the Rose and Creed event just makes it pop, and that's just something that just has not been duplicated yet, in my opinion. But this still smells like a very good uh, fresh fruity pineapple. Uh, on the dry down, when I smelled it earlier, on the dry down, I guess I got kind of a little bit of the uh, the patchouli. Uh, really didn't get vanilla. I got some musk. Um, I remember ambergris from uh, Creed Aventus. I really didn't get that, and then again birch. So I got birch too. So those are the those are the scents or the notes that I got and didn't get on this uh, pineapple vintage. Very good. I like it. Uh, definitely, if I combine it with Intense, which I thought about doing, or combining it with Summers, number one. Let me get you in the frame here. Again, as you're all up in the picture. Do you have to just get in the way like that? Goodness. Number one, Molecule 01. But I definitely um, will be using that to enhance these fragrances. Uh, but that's, you know, for Pineapple Vintage. Let me move on. I know it's getting kind of long here. Pineapple Vintage Intense. Um, for this one, I got, I got very, very, very briefly the pineapple. It was very brief for me. And then all of a sudden, the uh, ISOE Super, what I also smell in Molecule 01, um, the, the note in Molecule 01, the ISOE Super, the kind of cedar woodish, uh, very nice, sweet, potent um, scent. I guess, you know, maybe they mix the sweetness of the pineapple with... Uh, the Isoe Super, I smell in Broxen, like I smell in Broxen in Dior Sauvage. Uh, and uh, those two, after the very brief pineapple and intense, then I get um, those two coming out really strong. I get those coming out really strong, and then it fades into what pineapple, stand up, what pineapple vintage noir. Oh, oh come on. You guys are embarrassing me. What Pineapple Vintage and Noir basically uh, does, which is smoky, to me, is smoky all the way through. I didn't get anything else but smoke all the way through when it came to Pineapple Vintage Noir. And um, I really didn't care for that. So if I had to, you know, take one of these, I really couldn't. It's really between Pineapple, I'm not going to touch the, the samples because they just don't want to stand up. Uh, the Pineapple Vintage and the Pineapple Vintage Intense. Noir is basically out. I don't know. I might give that to somebody or I might just use it up when I'm at a place where I really don't care if I get compliments or not. <laughs> but um, it's between Pineapple Vintage and Pineapple Vintage Intense. Intense would take it all the way. Intense, hands down, would be number one out of these three for me if I could smell more of the pineapple. But for me, I don't get that much of the pineapple. I get very, very brief pineapple. And then I get the Isoe Super, which smells great. And then um, the, a little bit of the Ambroxan. And then I get the Smoky Dry Down on Intense. But when it comes to that fresh, fruity pineapple, neither of those two beat the original. Neither of those two beat the original. So, um, but, you know, with the fresh, fruity pineapple after that fades away, I really don't get much out of this fragrance. You know, there's, you know, like I said, there is the... The notes that I said I smelled in the mid and the dry down, I get little hints of them. But it's nothing to where it's like, oh man, this is so much better than Intense. But then I don't get Intense being oh, so much better, hands down, than the original. So it's a tie between Pineapple Vintage and Pineapple Vintage Intense for me. Noir is out. I really don't care for it. If it had a little more to it, I didn't smell any, um, I didn't smell any pineapple, any anything other than other than smokiness. I smell smokiness from the jump, from when I sprayed it on my skin all the way through. So, I mean, I didn't smell a hint of fruitiness at all. So, uh, again, a tie between Pineapple Vintage and Pineapple Vintage Intense. This is part one. Part two will be coming soon. As soon as my friend is ready, uh, which should be in the next couple of days, hopefully, then I want to get her um, opinion on uh, these three fragrances. So that's been my short review. Until next time, believe until you stop breathing. Appreciate all my subscribers. I thank you for the following that I have. I never thought I would have anything like this. Um, being a YouTuber and going after something that um, is one of my many passions. So again, next time, believe until you stop breathing. This has been a review of the sampler pack of Pineapple Vintage, Pineapple Vintage Intense, and Pineapple Vintage Noir. But you know what? I just thought of something. I do have a post comment 
Well, maybe it's not a post comment. I don't know. I'm new at this. I'm figuring it out. Anyway, with all three of the bottles looking identical, and you have these three as your sample packs, why not make your 100 ml bottles look like these? That's what I didn't get. You know, the whole thing about all three bottles being identical, and the only way you can tell them apart is a little sticker on the bottom with one saying vintage, one saying intense, one saying noir. Why would you not make a, I mean, look at this. I mean, the sun is glaring right now, but this is pineapple vintage. Make a 100 ml bottle, put this on the front of it, and uh, you can't really see it because of the glare in the sun, but this is kind of off-white, kind of a little bit of a yellowish green tint on it. You can make pineapple vintage 100 ml bottle of, looking like this. This is all white. The one that says intense, this isn't off white, this is white with that picture. You can make a 100 ml bottle look like that. And then of course, Vintage Noir, make a black bottle with the gold print. A 100 ml bottle looking like that. So why not make your 100 ml bottles look like your samples instead of all the hundred, all three of the 100 ml bottles looking identical? I think you would... I mean, as far as a marketing thing, that would look a lot better if your 100 ml bottles look like this. Make them look like these right here, or make them look like these. Gold cap, white, white with intense, and then black. I think that would sell more. I think that would be better for the marketing. But, uh, again, believe it till you stop breathing. I'm going to keep saying that because I truly believe it. Um, this has been a review of Pineapple Vintage, the Pineapple Vintage line. Appreciate, again, all my subscribers. Please like, share, and subscribe next time.